She thought she'd get away with it. But this was the moment the game was up. Hello, Lucy, is it? Yes. Hello, my name's Chesh, please. Look, it's 70 seconds. Oh, yes? Yeah, thank you. Behind the door of this ordinary suburban house, Britain's most prolific baby killer was finally arrested three years after her murder spree began. Can you just take a seat in there for me, Lucy? I'll move that seat forward a bit. Sure. Yeah, I just had knee surgery. So. Oh, right, OK. She worked here on the neonatal unit at the Countess of Chester Hospital, her role to care for the most premature and vulnerable infants. But that couldn't have been further from her mind. The crying, um, I've never heard anything like it since. It was screaming. It was screaming and I was like, what, what's the matter with them? Legally, we can't identify the families in this case, but their stories are distressing. These are the parents of twin boys born prematurely in 2015. Their mum was taking milk to them when she heard one of her sons crying loudly. He had blood round his mouth and, and Lucy was there, but faffing about, not really, not doing anything. Lucy said, uh, oh, don't worry, the registrar was coming and then she told me to go back to the ward. The baby's mum left him in this intensive care area and went to call her husband. They thought their son was in safe hands with Nurse Letby, but a short time later they were told he was dangerously ill and they rushed back to find doctors trying to save him. We were taken in and we were told to talk to him and hold his hand and then the conversation with the consultant and she said we need, you know we, we, we're going to stop it's not helping um we, we want we want them to die in your arms on the unit there were typically up to three deaths a year this was the moment the game was up oh lucy is it yeah oh, my name is please look it's 70 seconds oh yes yeah thank you Behind the door of this ordinary suburban house, Britain's most prolific baby killer was finally arrested three years after her murder spree began. Can you just take a seat in there for me, Lucy? I'll move that seat forward a bit. Sure. Yeah, I just had knee surgery. So. Oh, right, OK. She worked here on the neonatal unit at the Countess of Chester Hospital, her role to care for the most premature and vulnerable infants but that couldn't have been further from her mind. The crying, um, I've never heard anything like it since. It was screaming, it was screaming, and I was like, what, what's the matter with them? Legally, we can't identify the families in this case, but their stories are distressing. These are the parents of twin boys born prematurely in 2015, their mum was taking milk to them when she heard one of her sons crying loudly. He had blood round his mouth. And, and Lucy was there. But faffing about, not really, not doing anything. Lucy said, oh, don't worry, the registrar was coming. And then she told me to go back to the ward. The baby's mum left him in this intensive care area and went to call her husband. They thought their son was in safe hands with Nurse Letby, but a short time later they were told he was dangerously ill and they rushed back to find doctors trying to save him. We were taken in and we were told to talk to him and hold his hand. And then the conversation with the consultant and she said we need you know but we, we're going to stop it's not helping um we, we want we want them to die in your arms on the unit there were typically up to three deaths a year but in 2015 they had that number in the month of june alone and the pattern continued with babies dying or coming close to death. The common factor, Lucy Letby. This staffing sheet shows she was the only employee who was present every time there was a suspicious event. 
Dr. Stephen Breary led the team of seven consultants on the unit who shared joint concerns about Letby. He's now speaking publicly about their experience for the first time. It's something that nobody really wants to uh, consider, you know, that a member of staff might be harming the babies and your care. Things came to a head when two out of three healthy triplets died within 24 hours of each other in June 2016. Afterwards, a meeting was held for staff. Lucy Letby was there. She was sitting next to me. I spoke to her and said how tired and upset she must be after two days of this uh, and hoped that she was um, going to have a restful weekend. And she turned to me and said, um, no, I'm back on shift tomorrow. The other staff were very traumatised by all of this. We were crumbling uh, before your eyes almost and she was quite happy and confident to come into work. Lucy Letby was eventually moved to a clerical role. The doctors kept trying to get managers to investigate the suspicious deaths and her connection to them. But we can now reveal that even though consultants here repeatedly made loud warnings to senior management, they say they were ignored and ultimately told that if they didn't stop raising questions about the nurse, there'd be consequences. And the doctors say that even after Lucy Letby came off duty on the neonatal unit, executives tried to draw a line under the case. And it was only a year after she stopped working as a nurse that the police became involved. After her arrest, officers found all sorts of items in her bedroom. Baby's medical records, her diary and notes covered in Letby's scrawl with phrases including, I am evil, I did this. She is a killer and using her word, she is evil. You've spent time interviewing her and watching her in court as well, giving yes. evidence. What do you make of her? I think she's very emotionless. She doesn't, because she, she doesn't respond to a typical human response that I would have expected. There was no empathy or, or sympathy with what's gone on at all. I mean, there are people who look at her and say, there's no way she can have done this. It's circumstantial evidence. Yes. She looks as though butter wouldn't melt. It's an example to us all, really, of not judging a book by its cover. We've got to accept you know, and understand the evidence in this case has been, I believe, significant and has, has taken us to understand that Lucy Letby is a killer. The nurse wrote this sympathy card to the parents of one baby and searched for many of the other families on Facebook. Letby's own parents supported her throughout the trial and the court heard about her happy childhood. We may never know why she became a killer. I want us to be locked up, but I never want us to come out again. Because what she's done has changed the course of our life forever. Lucy Letby had many faces. Party girl, graduate, bright young nurse. But each face was a mask for evil hiding in plain sight. And at last her cover has slipped. Lucy Letby will now be known as one of Britain's most notorious criminals. Judith Moritz, BBC News, Manchester. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.